Hello, it's Robert Miner with Dynamic Traders Group with our DT Trade Strategies for the week of November 22nd. This is where we do a reasonably short video with just one or two markets that have a potential trade set up in the upcoming week. We do these for YouTube followers and Twitter followers and Traders News members so they can get a little taste of what we do for our regular subscribers, which is a much more comprehensive video covering all the major financial markets. Uh, some of the cryptos and a couple others. So if you like what you learn here, of course, subscribe and check us out at dynamictraders.com. You ought to sign up for our Traders News membership. It's absolutely free. We don't need any kind of credit card because we have other updates that we do during the week on the Traders News that uh, might be helpful to you. Let's get started and take a look at major market this week that may be at a major turning point. So the stock indexes are potentially at a pretty critical juncture this coming week. We'll take a look at the NASDAQ. All the indexes are in substantially the same position. And on the NASDAQ, this is the weekly data. What's important is last week the NASDAQ made what we call a dual look back bear reversal from the overbought zone. When's the last time it made that? Well, it made it right around up in this period of time, which did not result in a correction. It resulted in sideways movement for about five weeks. Depends on the pattern position, a lot of other factors on how significant that bearish reversal will be. Uh, and we'll look at it in a minute and see that it might be much more significant at this juncture than it was back during this juncture. But the point is, it's a real wake up call that at the very least, the immediate upside is probably very limited before a weekly high is complete, and then the market is sideways to down for at least three to four weeks. So that's a, that's a, a juncture to be aware of depending on the time frame of trader that you are. Um, so keep that in mind. And uh, why do we call it a dual look back bear reversal? Well, the eight look back made a bear reversal from the overbought zone this past week, and the 13 fast line reached overbought. So that's what we call dual look back when the eight uh, in the shorter time frame, what uh, depend on the two time frames we use, but if the eight makes a bear reversal and the next longer look back, I'm sorry, I said time frame, I meant look back, the next longer look back, in this case, the 13 fast line is overbought. That's a, that's a dual look back bear reversal when it's made from the overbought zone. Uh, again, it's a wake up call. Here's the daily data. It's the closing data. Closes are real important, especially in the index and some of the other financial markets. Um, so if we look at the closing data off of this October low, is that it's almost an ideal one, two, three, four, and a five. Well, it's not almost an ideal. It really is an ideal. And uh, this past week, what we were looking for was uh, the upside would probably be, be limited to around 16,452 to 16,582. That's the 127, 162% external retracements of what I've got labeled a wave four, and that's the most frequent end of wave five target zone to complete a five wave impulse trend. And where did the NASDAQ go last week? On a closing basis right into that zone and Friday, it closed just a few points, actually just above the 16,581 level on the close on Friday. And it did that with the daily momentum, the eight reaching overbought. So we've got the uh, weekly momentum's made dual look back bear reversals from the overbought zone last week. We have the daily momentum reaching the overbought zone at the end of the week with price in the key end of wave five target zone. I'm going to go back to the weekly for just a minute. And on the weekly, the higher time frame, 162% uh, external retracement of the September October decline. Well, that was just. Uh, the market just went above that. NASDAQ went a little bit above that at the end of last week. So this also says the NASDAQ's on borrowed time, borrowed price, and borrowed momentum. So we say momentum cycles turning over at a really key price level and a really key pattern position as of the end of last week. So what does this mean? Well, more than likely, we're going to complete this five wave advance off the October low by early next week. If that's the case, the question is, how does this fit in 
to a higher time frame, go back to the weekly. Well, that's a discussion I'm saving for our subscribers because one, it's gonna take take a while to give you the details of that. And so we save that for our subscribers. If you're interested in the long-term picture of the stock indexes, we do big picture reports every now and then when we're at critical junctures. But right now, what you wanna be aware of is probable a weekly high will be complete by next week. We look at the 240 minute data. Again, this is the 127, 162% external retracements of this uh, wave four decline. It just shows how at the end of the week, uh, the NASDAQ reached up into that zone. So it's on borrowed time, borrowed price, everything else. Um, and so you want to be looking for potential reversal patterns early next week to complete that high. Not just a daily high, but probably a multi-week high. Before we take a look at one more market, I, I just want to remind you, if you're interested in what we have to offer every day, updates on stock indexes, bonds, notes, dollar, euro, and of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum, gold, silver, crude, soybeans, etc. Check out our DT reports on dynamictraders.com. And at the least, if you want uh, some other freebie updates, uh, sign up at our DT Traders News. Um, we put updates there on every Wednesday and Saturday, and if sometimes there's some special reports or special alerts that we just alert our day, DT Traders News members. And of course, it's absolutely free. Okay, let's take a look at one more market. Well, this is crude weekly data, and a couple important things to take a look at on this crude weekly chart. Number one is, uh, is actually not this past week, it was the week before, made a dual look back weekly momentum bear reversal from the overbought zone. When's the last time it did that? Well, the last time it did that was back in July, and that resulted in what we got labeled as a wave three high and about a six, seven week net decline. Uh, to complete a wave, ABC wave four. Uh, so th this doesn't happen very often, especially at the settings that I have. When it does, you want to at least be aware that it's happening. More than likely, a, a weekly high is complete because coming up from April, we have this ideal textbook five wave count. It could be a more significant high, uh, potentially a multi-month high, that'll be a corrective decline lasting two or three months and not just three or four or five weeks, something along those lines. So we call this, it's probably a higher degree correction than either the wave two or the wave four. Uh, so that would mean if that's the case, then it would probably last longer than 10 weeks and be more than an 18, 19% decline. So um, I think we're already down a good 10% from where the top was a few weeks ago. So it should have a ways to go both in time and price. So be aware of that. And here's the daily crude. The daily momentum's made a dual look back bull reversal at the end of the week. When you have the smaller time frame daily make a bull reversal while the higher time frames are bearish, it usually warns that crude is about to make a corrective rally of three to five days. And when that corrective rally is complete, then the bear trend will continue. And the highest probability trade setups are when we have an understanding of the pattern position and the higher time time frame momentum position, then we look at the lower time frame momentum cycles and corrections, that sort of thing, to enter in the uh, direction of the higher time frame, in this case, weekly bear trend that should have several weeks to go. Well, that's it for today. Check us out at dynamictraders.com. Join our DT Traders News Group and uh, you know, check out our reports. If you like the education, the information, the alerts that you receive here, uh, you're going to really like our DT reports and our daily updates and more comprehensive videos. That's it for today. Have a fantastic week. This uh, coming week is a holiday week in the United States, so I won't be back with you next Saturday, but I will be back in two weeks. Take care, stay safe, and have some fun. Robert Miner, over and out.